Hi, I'm Joanna from Up to Date Skills, and in this video, we are going to see how to import the data in a CSV file to an Excel spreadsheet so that the information becomes easier to read. I'm going to walk you through two different methods that you can use to achieve this, so stick around. This is the CSV file I want to convert. CSV stands for comma separated value, so CSV. This is just a curiosity. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Well, as you can see, the information is here, but it is gathered in one single column, which makes it hard to read and impossible to process. I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use to convert your file into an Excel spreadsheet. You can start by opening your CSV file, just like I did. I haven't made any changes to it yet. Now you have to highlight the first column. So column A, which is the column where all the information is gathered. Go to the ribbon at the top and look for the data tab. So click there, data or data. Now look for the option text to columns and click there. When this window opens, you have to focus on these two buttons here. The first one says delimited. This is telling you how your data is displayed in the CSV file. You have some explanation here. In this case, it says characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. In the second one, it says fixed width. It says fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field. We want the first one. We have to select this one because it refers to the way your information is separated in the files. Down here in the preview of selected data, you can see that I have semicolon separating my information. Down here, you will see the same thing. So this is the option we have to choose, delimited, and then click next. Then you have this box here with all the options that you have for delimiters. This one is already checked. You can keep it, but then you have to add the one that you see here. And we have here a semicolon in my case, so I'm going to select this one. And now let's see, you can use this scroll bar to see how the information is displayed. Do you see? And now we can see that the information is already in a table. I'm going to uncheck this box for you to see how it was before. Now, this is the CSV file. Do you see it? There are no columns here. And once I select the semicolon, which is the, the limiter they have used to separate the information, now I can see that my information is organized into columns. So this is the one I need, but you have to check which one or which delimiter is separating your information. Now that everything looks fine to me, I'm going to hit next. Up here in the column data format, click general and then hit finish. There's a warning here telling me that there's already data here. And they asked, do you want to replace it? And you have to say, okay, because this is the CSV file and you want it to be converted into an Excel file. So hit okay. And here you go. You can finally see your data separated into columns. Now you can edit this table as you would any other Excel spreadsheet. Let me give you a quick example. Select all the columns where you have information. You can start by clicking twice on any of these borders here that you have so that the column width adjusts to the information in each column. Keep it like this. So keep the columns selected and then you can go to the home tab and look for the format as table option. Click there, and then you can choose any of these options here. I'm going to choose this one. This window opens asking you if your table has he headers. This is important. So if your table has a, a top, a line at the top or a row at the top with a header with the titles for each of the columns, then you have to check this box saying that my table has headers. So check the box if your table has a header and hit OK. And here you go. Your Excel spreadsheet is ready. 
we can just scroll up and down and to the sides and check if everything is okay. And it is. So let me just scroll up back again. Now we just have to save the file to complete the process. So go to the file tab at the top of your ribbon and choose the option save. Now you have another important warning saying some features in your workbook might be lost if you save it as a CSV or comma delimited. Uh, do you want to keep using that format? So remember, we are converting it. We do not want to keep it a, as a CSV. So we have to choose the option no. The default one is yes. So you really have to pay attention here and hit no. Then you choose the location where you want to save your file. I want to save it here. And so you can change its name, of course, or you can keep the same name as in your CSV file because it's not the same format. And this is important, save as type. So this is the default version because you are still working in your CSV file. So you have to click here to open the drop down list. And then you have to choose the option Excel workbook. So click there and then you can hit save. Well, now you can just close your file. And now you can see I have two files. I have the CSV file I started working with at the beginning. You can see here that it's a CSV file, but I also have the file that I've just created, the Microsoft Excel worksheet. I'm going to click to open the new one, the new file, so that you can see how it looks. As you can see, it looks great, just like it did before I close it. I'm going to close it again, and I'm going to delete it. I have deleted it because I want to show you another method you can use to convert your files. So I'm going to add to my folder here, a new Excel file, a blank one, and I'm going to name it. I'm actually going to copy paste just the title, okay? Just the name of the file. It doesn't really matter if the name is the same because we are working with two different uh, file types, so they won't collide. So let me just, open the new one, the Excel version. So as you can see, this is a blank Excel file. I have no information whatsoever. I'm going to the data tab at the top. This time I cannot choose this option here to change text to columns because I have no text. Remember, I'm not working from a CSV file. I'm working uh, from an empty Excel file. What we have to do now is go to new query and look for the option from file and then from CSV. Sometimes the option from file might be displayed or even the op option from CSV. So it might already be in, on display in your ribbon up here. So again, new query from file and then from CSV. It says here import, sorry, import data from a comma separated value file. That would be a CSV. So let's hit there. This might take a little long to load. Do not worry about that, it's normal. Once this window opens, look for the CSV file you want to convert, select and click import. You will automatically see this table with a preview of all the information you had in your CSV file already separated into columns. And if everything looks okay, you can just click load However, I think that for some of you, these options here uh, at the top might be worth taking a look at, particularly the delimiter and the data type detection. Well, Excel will choose the best option for your file. However, if something seems wrong to you, you can just go up here and choose another one. You can actually try. If you choose the wrong one, let's see what happens. The information goes back to the CSV file format, which is the single column. Let me set it, set it back to a comma. So again, this is something you should only change if your preview, what you see here is not okay. This field here is also important, data type detection. The default version is based on first 200 rows. However, if something is not quite right with your file, you can just click here and choose Another option from the drop down list, I would suggest based on entire data set to make sure everything is included. Now that you have all the information you need, you can just use a scroll bar just to check if everything is like you want. Okay. 
up and down, right and left, you know how it goes. And then you can click load. Your file is being generated now. This might take a couple of seconds. Do not worry about that, it's normal. If this panel here opens, you can close it. You're not going to need it for now. And your table is here and ready. You don't even need to edit it because they, all have, they have already chosen uh, a style, but of course you can go up here to the table design tab and you can choose any other option that you want to. I actually prefer this method. I think it's faster. And because I had already created the, the file and named it, I can just hit the, the save button at the top and close my file. I'm going to open it again, just to show you that everything sticks. And here you go. We have all the information we had. Well, I prefer the second method, but of course you can choose the one that suits you best. And this is it. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a thumbs up on our video, subscribe and hit the bell to get updates. And most important of all, share a link to our videos on social media. Well, I guess this is it. Thanks for watching.